Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. And today we're going over to Mikola, but shock horror. Didn't actually get this in one of my uh, beer club boxes. This is one that I actually uh, purchased from Brewdog Manchester. And I think I've technically reviewed it before, albeit in a sort of like head-to-head -head sort of video a while back where I compared this in bottle form uh, to the flat white version. So uh, we're having a look at the Beer Geek Breakfast which is the oatmeal stout brewed with coffee, clocking in at 7.5% ABV. Uh, back onto somewhat early shifts at work this week, so um, I've not been uh, the most energetic, not that I'm an energetic person anyway, so I could do for a little bit of a pick-me-up at half past or 20 to 6. So, um, yeah, signature artwork there from Keith Shaw. Uh, lovely wraparound label on a nice 500ml can. Nearly stroked it in a suggestive way then. Didn't mean to do that. Don't want to do that. And, uh, yeah, an oatmeal stout with uh, coffee. It's the classic Mikla beer, uh, one of the, the variations of it. And I've been getting a few of them in my more recent Mikla beer club boxes, but I think I've had, like, the the beer geek maple shake a couple of times now and i get a little bit tired of maple syrup in beer um to be honest it's nice every now and then but yeah so the last can i had i just drank it i didn't bother to review it because i think i've already reviewed it anyway so i will put the link down below to that original review of this um and uh yeah and because i actually bought this can um i won't actually be shilling my uh, referral link down below for the uh the Mikla beer club so, um, which I shill a hell of a lot, let's not lie. But it's got me a lot of discounts on boxes, so... You help me, I'll help you. Anyway, beer in a glass then, and that's pretty much as jet black as they come. With a really dark, intense head. Uh, can we get better lighting? Kind of, but not really. But um, yeah, it's looking good in the glass, it was pouring nice as well. So let's give it a swirl and see what we get on the nose. You get that sort of like um, dark berry, malty stout aroma. And then it's offset with a very subtle bit of coffee. It's not the most amaratic execution of coffee. I know that's not how you would structure that sentence. But yeah, there's a sort of like a chocolatiness to it. Reminds me of aroma-wise, aroma -wise, uh, you know, the Turkish Delight bars you can get. Not actual Turkish Delight, but the chocolate covered Turkish Delight, which I've never been a fan of. Just the texture's just not good. That's what it reminds me of. There's like a slight floral element to it. But it smells nice and inviting, um, especially on um, the weather, on a day like this with the weather that we've been having recently. It's uh, really going to Hype me up a little bit with that caffeine, and it's also gonna um, warm me up uh, because it's chilly outside. Smells good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Coffee comes out a lot more on the flavour, which is a good thing. It's got a really strong bitter coffee. Sort of like um, like you've had you've added an espresso shot to a lost my train of thought there. What coffee does it remind me of? Cappuccino, like a dark cappuccino with an additional hit of espresso in there. The bitterness really comes out. It's quite a chlorine bitterness, which I like that with a, a coffee beer. I love that little really strong intense. It's almost got like cigarettes, ashtray, ashtray sort of pipe tobacco character. Body is a little bit thin for my liking. But then again, I think you become so used to like gloopy imperial stouts. But it's not a thin beer. Do you know what I mean? It's just a little bit thin uh, for my liking. But it holds the flavour well. And um, it does have a, an oiliness on the finish. A little bit of dark chocolate in there. Slight dark berry character coming through. It's a simple, 
oatmeal stout with coffee. Um, I think I paid £10 for this can in Brewdog, which I don't think is too bad. But then again, you can get a Mikola San Diego beer uh, for that price and a you know a nice hazy IPA. Um, it was either £10 or £7. I can't remember. Um, but then again, on the, the same shelf was one of the uh, Omni Pio Goes beers, which were like sound for like £21. Are you fucking kidding me? But then again, if you've got the money, you spend it how you want, I guess. But yeah, it's a classic. It's a classic stout. Full of character. It's robust. It's a real char, smoky harshness there, which I'm all for. Doesn't dick around uh, when it comes to coffee. It's coffee right up front. So if you like a good, abrasive coffee character... I think you're going to really enjoy this. It just it would just be nice to add a bit more of a luxurious mouthfeel. And the fact that it's an oatmeal stout, you'd expect maybe a little bit more body. But um, yeah, for its ABV, maybe a tiny bit more depth in terms of that body. But then again, we're all spoiled, aren't we, when it comes to beer? But yeah, it's lovely stuff. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Is it the best uh, beer geek beer... Uh, Beer Geek. I keep getting Beer Mail, Beer Club and Beer Geek mixed up. Is it the best Beer Geek um, iteration that I've had? No, not really. Um, is it a good one? Yes. Uh, thankfully, there's no maple or vanilla in it, which I'm starting to get bored of those flavours in strong Imperial Stouts and Stouts in general. And you do pick up the oats in there as well. It's almost like um unsweetened plain porridge character. But yeah, wonderfully brewed. I just wish I had a little bit more body. That's all. That's really the only thing I could take away from it. So in terms of rating then for the Mikola Beer Geek Breakfast, uh, taking price into consideration as well, I'm going to give that one uh, a 7.5 seven out of 10. Lovely stuff. Mikola do it again. They're known for this beer series. And uh, yeah, it's damn good. And uh, as I said, I've already reviewed this kind of when I compared it to the flat white version. So... That link will be down below, just so if you want to compare notes. I don't know. Um, yeah, I've got quite a, a wealthy um, Mikola playlist on the channel now. <laughs> go check out Mikola. And um, yeah, if you're in Manchester, go hit up the main bar. Or of course, they've got Outpost, because I think the main bar's um, not going to be there for much longer, because they don't have the uh, the lease for much longer, if I remember correctly. Or they're... they're sort of like tenancy agreement is coming up i'm sure i read that like in the last part of last year uh which is a shame because it's one of my favorite brew dog bars and uh, the fridges recently have been really good uh the guest beers have been awesome as well so um yeah and i'm sure they'll open another place in manchester city center but outpost is really really good it's handy um, especially if you're getting off the train at oxford road so uh there you go you learn something new every day. That's why I'm a, an educational channel as well as a masturbatory channel. Anyway, don't know where that came from. That's what she said. Go check out uh, Mikla. And if you've tried this or any other version of the Mikla Beer Geek series, then let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers.